Right, we're at the D2 Fall Sports Festival in Seattle. This is the Volleyball Championship quarterfinals, match between number four seeded Cal State LA, number five seeded Gannon. We're with Gannon head coach Matt Darling and his players Sam Dynick and Haley Cook. Coach, get us started with an opening statement about uh, about this tournament and today's match. Yeah, I, uh, just first of all, uh, obvious congratulations to Cal State LA who um, you know, we knew was going to present us with a, a great challenge, and uh, they absolutely did. I thought they played great. They were rock solid from the service line, and uh, I think the match was honestly just won right right there. Uh, they might have been won other places by them if, if we had gotten past that. But uh, just hard, hard for us to get off the deck uh, after, after just not being able to handle their serve. Um, and uh, but proud of the team, proud of the team's effort. Uh, we, we you know we kept trying to just say okay we're gonna let that go and, and let's let's show people what we uh, what we can do. Um, the third set I think signs of life. Uh, just proud of the effort. Um, the the wider uh, context of the tournament. Uh, we we're you know happy to have made it this far uh, with a with a pretty young group and um, and we'll we'll build on that from there. And then. Uh We'll follow up another question for you. Just Cal State LA playing at such a high level uh, from the very start. Uh, what adjustments were you happy with that, that you saw your team make, and despite the final result, that you were you saw progress and saw? Yeah, it took a couple of sets, but the third set we started to handle the serve a little bit better. Um, and you know, when we were actually playing volleyball, the the rallies would you know maybe 60-40. I mean, it wasn't as, as much of a blowout uh, as the match ultimately was. So I was happy with that and um, you know we were able to, we, we ran the 6-2 a little bit which uh, you know I don't know that that made a huge difference but it just gave, gave us a little bit different look. Uh, we'd start touching some more balls at the net um, and um, there, there was just too much to adjust to. Uh, we, we kind of threw everything we had at the at, at them and, um, and they were up to it at every stage. Uh, it's a well coached team, it's a very talented team, it's a very big team. Um, that was a uh, that team gave us the kind of matchups that we just didn't really have a good answer for. And then Sam, uh, what do you take from from this experience? See, you, you came into this year losing four uh, All Americans. Not a lot of people thought you would get to this point. Yeah, you know, what do you take from this experience, getting here and kind of getting back to this level? Definitely a learning experience for us. Um, we have a lot to improve on, but it's also nice to take a step back and just enjoy the moment. Be proud of this team and all that we've we've accomplished this year. And so. Bittersweet. Definitely. Uh, Haley, what are your closing thoughts on this season, um, you know, after this match tonight? Yeah, it's, it's really crazy because we lost a lot of seniors last year and everybody was kind of thinking, oh, they're going to have a really hard year next year. And honestly, a lot of us were thinking that way too. So um, it was just kind of proving every step of the way what we could be. Our first tournament at Hillsdale was kind of like, uh, wow, we're not really there yet, but we have a long way to go and we can really get there. And so we just kind of took it game by game and our only loss in our conference was to Clary in our first game and then we came back and beat them a couple more times. So that was fun to kind of prove to everybody what we could really be and just proving at PSACs our conference championship and then at Atlantic Regionals and just to try and keep pushing for more. And we are definitely hungry for this too. Perfect. And then Coach, We'll have you give kind of a closing thought. We had an opening statement. What's, what's your closing thought? How do you kind of put this match into perspective with what this group accomplished over the course of this year? I think this is a situation where, you know, ultimately it's hard in the moment. You know, you're trying to advance just like everybody else. But if you, you know, can zoom out a little bit, um, you know, this is going to be, a, you know, maybe a steep decline uh, at the end of an otherwise very, very successful season for our program. Um, I feel like we have a lot to build on. Uh, with this group that's coming back. Um, it's sad to lose those seniors. Uh, Maggie Greenfield's been, you know, slugging it out with us for five years and, um, you know, her contributions to the program are, are duly noted. Uh, but, you know, also Sophia Glavis, who, um, you know, it's a great story. Three years she was on the bench and, and she got her chance this year and she made the most of it. So couldn't be more proud of, of those kids. Um, and yeah, I think when we zoom out, we're gonna say 2022, wow, what a ride. Definitely. Any other questions? Great. Well, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.